Hey guys, Jesper here, and it's uh, time for a new tutorial. Uh, it's been a while, um, but uh, I found a thing that I think I should uh, show off here. Uh, I've seen a lot of people use Omnisphere. It's a very popular synthesizer. Uh, it's one of my personal favorites. Uh, and what I see people do is to make another instance for for every single instrument they want. Uh, when you can actually use one Omnisphere for up to eight uh, different sounds. And you can also control them in uh, different ways, um, automate, um, uh, add different effects and stuff uh, to each uh, audio output. So I'm going to show you how to do that to save up some, um, some uh, CPU power. I mean, there's no point in having eight instances of uh, Omnisphere if you're just going to use eight different sounds from it. Then you might as well load them up in uh, one instance. So let's take a look. Let's start up the Omnisphere here. And let's remove that audio channel. Let's rename this one to Omni. And uh, I'm gonna use channel 2 and 3. You have the different instances here. Uh, you might know if you're familiar with Omnisphere, this is where you pick your multi-parts, which uses uh, different instruments assigned to these uh, different slots. But if you select from this browser, you get one instrument for that specific slot. So let's just uh, start off by picking an instrument for channel 2. Um, now you notice my keyboard is playing. Uh, the first channel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new MIDI track, track here. Let's call it Omni 2. Omni 2 MIDI even. We're gonna set MIDI 2 to Omnisphere and track to number 2. So if you trigger that channel, you're now playing that specific part. Let's add another one. Let's make a new MIDI track, call it Omni 3 MIDI, arm it, and click here to open it up, go to number 3, and uh, let's pick some, um, a pad of some sort. Hmm. Well, let's take Coral Reef for instance. And we need to set the um, the MIDI to to the Omni, so that MIDI information goes to the synthesizer and to what instrument. And we put it on part three. And there we go. Let's see if we can find something uh, a little better sounding there. Um, floating mermaids, for instance. Anyways, now we have two different um, MIDI tracks playing from the same uh, Omnisphere. And uh, you might notice that um, you have different effects put on the different channels here. Um, the problem is with these effects, as far as I know, you cannot, um, you cannot automate these, which is a bummer. But, let's, sorry, uh, let's say you just want to... Um, use your own effects. So let's turn all the effects off from both of these. And you want to add your own effects. The problem here would be that if you drop, let's say, um, reverb on the Omnisphere here. You will get the same effect on uh, all the instruments. So you need to put th this reverb on each channel or the only channel you want it on. And for that, let's make a an audio track, a certain audio track, and let's make one for instrument number two, the the analog plucky sound, and let's name it, name it uh, Omni Two FX. Then we're gonna route audio from the Omnisphere, and we want to pick it from B. A is um, not available. A is the the first original channel. So if you want to put any effects on A, you put it on the main um, MIDI channel where you have the Omnisphere. And as we've put the um, instrument on number two, let's go for B. Um. 
And now you need to go into atmosphere, multi, you have the analog pluckers here. You need to change output to output B, the same as you said in the audio form. And now you hear nothing's, uh, nothing's sounding from this channel. You can only see MIDI going from this channel. So you need to put this to monitor in. And there you have a completely dry effect. So let's try and drop um, some sort of delay. Timeless is a great plugin. And this effect is only for this instrument, number two. And uh, this one you can automate if you want to. Just click the, the, uh, the different uh, parameters you want to change. And uh, let's just try and do that with the, the pad as well. Let's name it Omni. Oops, sorry. Let me just, oh, there we go. Omni 3 effects. Now let's drop the reverb we wanted on this one. And we need to change, as this is on the third slot, we go to multi, third slot, floating mermaids, output C. We'll close it down. Audio from, atmosphere, C, monitor in. And there we have our reverb. So here we have two different instruments with two different set of effects with using only one Omnisphere. And if you think it's it's getting a little bit crowded, I mean you got five channels here for basically two instruments, just select them all, group tracks, and you can just close that one. Um, so it just shows this one channel and name it Omnisphere. There you have them, so you only need to open them up when you want to change them. So there you go, a little tip. Um, there are several synths out there, it's just, just not Omnisphere. Um, a few synths, I mean contact player and, uh, and battery works the same way. You can uh, assign all these things to different channels using only one instance of the plugin. So just play around. It's quite self-explanatory once you get uh, going with it. So good luck and if you have any questions just post, uh, post them in the comments of this video and I'll reply to you as soon as I can. Alright, take care.